Tonight, another hit in a red hot housing market. All of the information showing home buyers and sellers what's on the market in Cincinnati is not accessible because of a cyber attack. Cincinnati's multiple listing services is down and it's not clear when it'll be back online. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey shows us how it's impacting an already competitive market. If you're looking to sell a home, now fewer people are going to see that listing. If you're looking to buy one, it's going to be harder to find. To grasp the scale of Cincy MLS going dark, multiple realtors use the same verbiage. It's kind of like the pandemic. Cincy MLS stores and shares all the data realtors, sellers, and buyers use, but they've gone dark. The place that stores all of our data has been hit by a, a cyber attack. Tracy Dunn says info for 7,500 realtors showing what's on the market through the Cincy MLS or multiple listing service is now inaccessible. A cyber attack hit the California-based Rapatoni MLS. You're not going to be able to push a button and see your home online the way that you're accustomed to seeing it. If you're looking to buy on sites like Zillow, those services use MLS data. Zillow says that they're working with partners to update info as fast as possible, but it's not easy. Well, we went from super low inventory to no inventory. Peter Shabri, CEO of the Shabri Realty Group, says this is an unprecedented disruption in the Cincinnati housing market in one of the hottest selling periods in the city's history. All of us are starting to adjust to the new normal and, uh, and pivot. I mean, it's like... We're in the pandemic, right? You figure out how to fly the plane a different way in midair. We tried to reach out to Rapatoni for comment, but their Contact Us website pages are down as well. An internal memo sent to Cincy MLS says they're working to solve the problem as soon as possible. People that are losing right now are renters that are trying to get a home before their lease ends, and before they're forced to lease for another year. Shabri says, ironically, this info gap could benefit some buyers because if you know about a house that nobody else does, you can snap it up with less competition. Now might be the best time to go and drive around, do some house hunting. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News. Since the MLS says they're using a Facebook page to share information in the short term, and they're planning to move away from Rapatoni and contract with a New York-based data firm in the long run.